Hello, Tiny Biglow here, and the word of the day is factotum. Now, factotum is a person who has many diverse activities or responsibilities, and especially one whose work involves a wide variety of tasks. Now, you may be a factotum in your organization or in your business, but you also may be a factotum just in your life in general. So you may have a lot of activities as a mom, as a dad, um, as a friend, as a daughter, as a sister, as a brother, whatever that looks like to you, a factotum is a person who has a lot of tasks. And I want to talk a little bit about the term of being busy. Now, just because you're busy doesn't necessarily mean that you are productive. So if we look at someone who's a jack of all trade, that's not necessarily always a good thing. I guess it's good for us to know a little bit about a lot, but there should be something that you operate in mastery. So let's look at things that are generalists, right? So most generalists make a general amount of money because they are only able to provide a general amount of work because they only possess general amount of knowledge at a general skill set. So if you look at a general practitioner, like a general doctor, they make less than a specialist, like an eye doctor or an ear doctor or a nose doctor or a throat doctor, right? Let's look at surgeons. A general surgeon will make a certain amount of money, but a heart surgeon wait, makes way more. And even if we look at teachers, teachers make a general amount of money, but if you have a specialist like a math teacher or a science teacher, even specialists in science, you can have a physics teacher, you can have a materials uh, teacher, you can have a music teacher, any type of specialist definitely makes way more because they bring more value to that particular situation. How do you develop mastery? Like, there are a few things that you can do, but the very first question that you want to ask yourself is, what do you want? Most jack-of-all-trades are okay with knowing a little bit of, about a lot because they don't necessarily have a specific skill set that they've chosen to master. When you get to the point where you know exactly what you want, every action that you take will help, could help, move you towards that final destination that you say you want for your life. So how do we apply this lesson? Well, there are some questions that you would need to ask yourself. So let's go down that list of questions. What puts a smile on your face when you do it? What makes you happy? What would you do all day for free? Like This is something that nobody has to pay you for. You just love vegging out and doing it all day. What do you do in your spare time? Like currently, what is it that you do in your spare time? Is it something that you like or something that you really don't like? What do you find extra time in your busy schedule to get done? Like this thing that's your passion, this thing that you can do all day, like you find extra time. You specifically carve out time out your day to do this thing. What do you spend your money to do? Now that's key. Like sometimes we have a whole lot of time to do whatever it is that we want to do, but things that we spend our money on, that is important to us. And then lastly, the answers to these questions will put you on a path to, sco to discovering your purpose. I want you to remember that. Once you are able to answer these questions, the answers to these questions will put you on a path to discovering your purpose. I hope you have enjoyed this time together, and until next time, make sure you have a great day on purpose.